احنا النهارده معانا نجمه من نجمات السينما الهنديه هي مثلت في افلام عديده في السينما بوليوود وتوليوود خلينا نرحب بالنجمه الجميله سونال تشوهان We are so happy to have you here with us in India. We've met you in Dubai, but yes. it's more happy and pleasure to have you here. Well, we are so happy to have you here. Finally, Dear Flam is, is finally, in yeah. Bombay. Finally, <laughs> yeah, finally, yeah. jewelry in Bombay. It's yes. like a dream for me, honestly. <laughs> really? Really, it's well, been always a I, I hope you have a good time, and I really, I'm really hope you enjoy it. And happy to see you as well. Yes, I'm happy so. to see you. First of all, before we go through the interview, we would love to know who you are, like a small introduction about yourself. Well, um, as a person, right? A person. I, um, I'm, I'm actually a very, very boring person. Let me start yeah. with that. I'm really boring. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, when I'm not working, I, uh, all I'm doing is just locked inside my room, watching movies or watching TV shows. And uh, um, if not that, then I'm probably just sleeping. That's what I like to do in my free time. So you're a homie person? Absolutely. I don't like going out. I am not really much of a social person. So yeah, I love spending time with myself. I've grown up in Delhi, uh, which is the capital of, uh, of India. And um, I came to Bombay when I was 17. And yeah, since then, it's, I've never really looked back. My first film, uh, Jannat, happened. And after that, I did, uh, I did films in Hindi and I did some films down south in Tollywood. And it's been a good journey. So who encouraged you and told you that you, ha you, are, you have to be an actress? Well, uh, not an actress, actually. Uh, when I was in school, a lot of people used to tell me that I should be a model, but I thought it's just because I'm skinny. I was really skinny. So, you know, in India, if you're thin and if you're slightly tall, then people say, okay, you know, you can be a model. And I never really took it seriously, but uh, my mother was totally against it. She, she didn't want me to do, have anything to do with the, this field. But um, once, I think my, my summer holidays were on and some, uh, somebody approached me for an ad and uh, they gave me like a really small amount and I, but for me I was like wow this is amazing you know for uh, for one day of you know just going there and looking good in front of the camera I'm getting paid this much so I did that but I never really modeled full-time until my sister sent my pictures for Miss India and then I, I got called for Miss India and I participated and then Miss World Tourism happened and yeah, I, I guess after that, uh, for my parents, it was really difficult for them to accept that I was a model. For them, modeling and films was the same thing. Mm -hmm. They didn't really even understand yeah, the yeah, difference. Yeah. And, uh, but when I won this title, Miss World Tourism, and I came back to the country, I got a lot of respect and, you know, there was a lot of media attention. My parents, I think, at that time kind of realized that I won't have to really, you know, go asking for work and it's not, it's not as bad as they thought. They just, they, I was just really protected when I was growing up. So. They didn't, uh, mm, you know, want to. Kind of same like the Middle East. All our mothers are doing the same thing. Like no mother, yeah. no camera, no media, no. <laughs> they really are. Then they realize that you have a talent. Oh yeah, you should have yeah. really become that. Exactly. I mean, and I come from a very conservative family, so they were totally against it. But I think after that, uh, it was fine. Even mm -hmm. when I did my first movie, they were very happy. Now they are just the most supportive parents ever. Yeah, so all this wasn't actually written in your agenda. Not you didn't plan for all that. Not at all. I, uh, I had no idea because there's never ever been like anyone in my family who has even the slightest bit of connection from, the, from this field. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was just like, sometimes when I look back, I just feel like it was designed, it was meant for me. And which actress really inspired you? Like you really um, wanted to be like her? I've always been a very big fan of Kajol. I think she's just beautiful and yeah. she's magical. I still think even when I saw Dilwale, I was just like, oh, I wasn't looking yeah, at anyone Dilwale else. She was beautiful. so beautiful, yeah. yeah at her age, mashallah. Yeah, she's so beautiful. And just when she smiles, she lights up the screen. So yeah, I, I've always looked up to her. I, I always will, I'll always be a very big fan of hers. I think when she's on screen, I don't look at anyone else. So I don't know if I can ever be like her because she's flawless. You look gorgeous as well. <laughs> Thank you. So I've met you in Masala and yeah. you looked gorgeous Thank in you. a beautiful dress. I really loved it. Thank and you. today, Masala, you look very gorgeous. It's very this, uh, decent you. classic suit. I really loved it. Who styles your, your cloth? You style it yourself or you have someone? Well, yes, uh, there is a lot of thought which, I mean, I, I really don't believe in blindly wearing anything that's given to me. So it's very important for me to feel comfortable. So my, I do have stylists who, uh, you know, 
suggest me and they give me ideas but eventually yeah. it yes it also you don't follow the fashion whatever comes out that you have no 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 I yeah. don't I don't do that it's very important for me to look uh, to, to feel comfortable otherwise I just get very conscious and then I just may end up making a fool of myself I've tried I've tried that and yes I do have uh, you know some very dear friends who are my stylists also and they're always a great help so are you picky as well and choosing the roles in the cinema for me yes it's very important uh, to be able to relate to the role, I don't just, you know, blindly do anything just because it's, you know, it's just to be a part of a big project. For me, it's very important to add something to, you know, the film that I'm doing and not just be decoration. Yeah. And uh, that's how I choose my films. So you do sport. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite? Well, actually, uh, I'm more, I, I, do, I do go to the gym. So in terms of fitness, I do yoga and go to the gym. I swim. So swimming is, uh, is my favorite sport. To watch, I like watching football, but of course I don't play it. But yeah, for myself, it's swimming. Okay, and what is your favorite country in the Middle East? UAE. UAE. Of course. <laughs> I love it. I think it's just, I just feel at home every time I get go there. What is your favorite genre? In movies? In movies. Um, uh, Rom-com or, or maybe, rom -com. Or, or like, uh, yeah, love stories. Okay. Yeah. So what is your dreams and what you really want to achieve in your life as you said all this stuff didn't you didn't really plan for it yeah. you yourself what mm -hmm. is your dream there are lots of dreams but I I like to keep my dreams secret because I think everyone has dreams every girl has dreams and I, I also have I'm no different from any other girl I have lots of big dreams but yeah I think as actors we're very emotional people and I'm anyway I'm, I'm not a very you know extro I'm not a big extrovert I, I you know keep my things to myself. So what is your future project? Do you have any movies that are coming yes. soon? Yes, I'm right now, uh, I'm doing a music video with uh, T-Series and uh, then there is another film that I think I'm gonna be signing in the next two days. Sure. Yeah, so um, I'm doing, yeah, working on two, three projects. What you can give us as a beauty tips? Well, uh, beauty tip. Uh, just, just don't blindly follow trends, don't uh, blindly follow what you see your favorite celebrity wearing. I think uh, always, you know, add your own um, bits and uh, just wear what you feel confident in. Wear your confidence because that's what's going to make you attractive and beautiful. Who is the actor that you are still dreaming to stand in front of him and act? Mm. I think Khan. <laughs> no, I like uh, Salman. I oh, really I like Salman. I really, I think he's beautiful. I think he's just, I think he's like, you know, God uh, when God. And an actress? Uh, to work with? Yeah. I hope I can work with Kajol. Okay. Yeah. Inshallah. One day. Okay, so we would love for you to say a message to your Arabic fans. Mm -hmm. It's Rosie. Well, uh, first of all, I'd love to tell you all that I love, like I was telling her, I love the sound of your language. I love everything about... Uh, okay, so Arabic. hold on, hold on. She loves everything about Arabic. So let's teach her how to speak Arabic and say hi, how are you? you made and I love you so much. Time, yeah, we'll do it again, we'll do it again. Hi, marhaba. Hi, marhaba. Ana sunal. Ana sunal. Bahabbakum kitir. Bahabbakum kitir. Well, coming back to the message, I'd just like to, um, you know, first of all, thank you all for always giving me, uh, you know, your continued support and uh, it's it's amazing. I, I, I do follow Zia Flam on Twitter and on uh, Instagram and it's really nice to read your comments and uh, all the love that you've given me and uh, yeah I just hope that uh, you appreciate all the hard work that I've been putting in I and I promise that I'm gonna keep putting all the hard work into whatever I do. Thank you.